Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Nidozy, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some really cool commands. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to make custom spells in Minecraft Vanilla 1.16, all using commands. This is going to be really easy, so let's get straight into it. I think you're all really going to like this one. So as you can see in front of me, I have four command blocks that all correlate with the pieces of paper above them. So the first piece of paper that we have here is flame. The second is called glide. The third is called lightning pillar. And the fourth is called levitation. In case you didn't realize, all of these are the magic spells that I'm talking about. So here I have all of them in my inventory. Let's take a look at flame first. As you can see, we have this custom item that says flame. When held, fire will be summoned. Then we have lightning pillar. When held, lightning will strike. Then we have levitation, when held the user is granted levitation. And then we have glide, when held the user will glide when jumping. So basically, when we hold all of these items, these command blocks detect that we're holding them and that triggers something to happen. So let's take a look at flame first. When held, fire will be summoned. So if I hold this down, as you can see everywhere that I look, there will be flame. Next up is lightning pillar. This one is fairly self-explanatory. When I hold this, a, well, pillar of lightning will be summoned. Yeah, th this one's kind of loud. I probably should have mentioned that uh, before I did it. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but basically, wherever I point my cursor, lightning will be summoned. Next up is levitation. So let's make sure I'm not flying. As you can see, I am not. Then, if I hold this in my hand, as you can see, I will begin to fly. Next up is glide. These actually go hand in hand. When I hold glide, I'll stop levitating. And then as you can see, this basically gives you, oh, I, I ex oops, oops, oops. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. As you can see, if I hit E, this gives me slow falling permanently until I take it out of my hand. Same thing with the levitation. Oh, the, no, 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 no. So now I'm gonna show you how you can actually get all of these. What you're gonna do is click on the link in the description and that should take you to mcstacker.net. Um, this is basically a whole website dedicated to all the different kind of commands that are in Minecraft. So let's take a look at the slash give command since we're actually trying to give ourselves something. And as you can see, we have a whole box that we need to type our parameters into. So uh, first things first, we're just going to type in at P because we're, we're the only one in this world and we're just going to give it to ourselves. We're not really going to worry about the rest of this stuff. If you'd like me to do a video about the execute command in fuller detail, then please do let me know in the description. So now let's come down to this little yellow box, which is the item tab. Let's go to filter and we're going to type in paper. Scroll down a bit. Now, as you can see, we have paper. So let's type, so let's do the name. A lot of this is just cosmetic stuff, but we do need to do one very special thing there. Um, so make sure that the component type is text. And now we have to decide what kind of spell essentially we're going to do. So when you hold the paper, what is this actually going to do for the player? How about I show you all how to do lightning pillar? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So for value, this is going to be the title of the item. So I'm just going to type in lightning pillar, just like that. So now for color, because it's lightning, I think we should do yellow. Um, and then this is your preview down below. Obviously the yellow doesn't really contrast with the tan color back there. So we're, you're not gonna be able to see great if you're doing what I'm doing, um, but we'll just go along with it. So we're gonna make it bold. You can skip over the font thing because I'm not really sure how to even do that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna make it underlined. Um, next is the lore. Basically what the lore is, is it's the description of the item. So for component, make sure that it's text again. And then for value, this is basically just what you want the lore to say. So I'm just gonna say, when held, lightning will be Summon. There we go. And now I'm gonna, just going to do a period at the end. So for color, I think we should do gold, just like that. Then I'm going to do bold. Actually, I'm not going to do bold. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on uh, false. Yeah, just like that. Um, and for italic, I just realized that I can just type in false like that. Um, I didn't actually know that. Hmm. That's nice. All right, so I'm just gonna do false for both of those. Actually, I could just put that on unset, but make sure that you do false for italic if you don't want it to be italic, because if you put it on unset, it will automatically be italic. Um, for count, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about custom mo model data, but we do, however, need to worry about custom tags. So click on the custom tags thing, 
and now basically this these are the parameters that basically the command block reads so uh make sure that you type in something that no one that no other thing in your world has the tag of and you also need to make sure that you can remember it so here i'm just going to do uh, i don't actually remember what my other one is so i'm just going to type in pillar because i don't think that that was any Ooh, i'm in a custom model made it's my bad um yes yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to type in pillar and then at the end this is very important make sure that you type in the colon uh, that's basically the two dots, not the dot and then the semicolon, it's just two dots. 1B. Make sure that it's colon 1B. If it's not colon 1B, it will not work. Uh, can place on doesn't matter, can destroy doesn't matter, hidden flags, no, uh, enchantments, no, and modifiers. Okay, so we're good there. Now, here is our command. This is basically just the command. Th this is basically just what everything that we just typed in, but in command form so that Minecraft can actually read it. So let's hit the copy button here. And now we can get ha head back into Minecraft. Okay, so now that we are back in Minecraft, what we basically want to do is just type it. Or we need a command block because to start this, we actually need to have our item. So I'm going to type in slash give, then my name, I'm Nito Z. Then I'm going to type in C-O-M-M, -M, then hit tab. Then we have a command block. I'm going to place it down. Then in here, you're just going to paste uh, the command that you had typed in or that you had uh, copied from there. I'm going to hold down Control and V to paste it. Now we have this, and uh, just tick Always Active so that it automatically gives it to you. Then when I hit Done, as you can see, I now have my Lightning Pillar, and it says, When Held, Lightning Will Be Summoned. So that's great. Now we can get rid of that command block, and we can head on to the next thing. So now that we have our item, we need to actually do the brains of this whole thing, because as you can see, if I hold this, nothing is actually going to happen. So we're going to give ourselves another command block. Just go back in the video if you forget how to. We're going to click here, then open up the command block again. Now, before we can type in anything, we want to go down to these settings. Where it says impulse, we're going to click that until it says repeat, just like that. And then we're also going to change this to always active by clicking it once. Then if we hit done, as you can see, it'll turn purple, and also it's always active. So that'll, that basically means that it, it will repeat infinitely no matter what. So now I'm going to copy and paste the command that I put in the description. It should be the first command that's there. Then if I hold down control and V, then um, we basically have this. So you are gonna need to fill in a few things because obviously I don't know what you're trying to do. So um, let's start at the beginning. Um, and yeah, this should be the first one. So this is where we're gonna put our tag. So if you remember, our tag was pillar. So that's gonna be pillar colon 1b remember you need to have the 1b if you don't have the 1b it will not work then we're going to do at the player's username so we're going to get rid of that and i'm going to type in neato z because that's my name and then we're and then here we're going to type in the command that we want to run so i'm going to do summon i'm going to type in lightning bolt and then basically we want to type in these little carrots so if you look at the six on your keyboard it should be at the top look at the six key hold down the shift button and hit the six button and you should get these little carrots so now if you go down to the, the three ones just hit tab on those and now we do need to have we do need to put in some special parameters and those parameters are negative one oops my bad we need to put a negative one there we need to put a six right here so basically that's saying uh negative one negative one below where the player's pointing and six blocks in front of where the player's pointing um it doesn't seem like it should work but oddly enough it does so basically let's take a look at this command in full this is basically saying execute if uh a if entity which we're looking at, at a which means if a player and um it's saying nbt so that's that's basically the custom data selected item equals so that's the item that's in our hand paper because we want to we want to look for paper then um we do uh comma tag uh pillar 1b because that's the tag that we're looking for and then we want to do that at neato z which is my name or at your name and then we're just going to do run summon minecraft lightning bolt and then that so that's just the command that you're doing so now this should work if we hit done then we hold this in our hand as you can see it works totally fine just like the other one did it works great real quickly i'm just going to show how you might go about doing one that gives you an effect okay so as you can see we are now back in mc stacker to make a new command 
So um, we're gonna change the, or we're gonna keep the target at, at P. Then we're gonna go down to item, make sure that it is paper, just like that. Name, um, we're gonna do one that we haven't actually done before. Let's do regen. Um, so let's just change this to regen. And then remember, actually let's do regeneration. Yeah, like that. Um, and then remember that the component type needs to be on text. Then color, let's do red, uh, make it bold, make sure it's not ital uh, italic, sorry. And then I'm also gonna do underline. Then lore, I'm just gonna do value, remember component type text. I'm gonna do when held the, uh, the user's life is restored. Just like that. Um, so now color, we'll do gold again. Where is that? Gold, gold, gold. There we go. Uh, make sure it's not italic, just like we did before. Um, then count, leave that alone. Custom model data, leave that alone. Custom tags, let's just do regen colon 1b. Remember the colon 1b or else it won't work. Can't place on, doesn't matter. Can't destroy, doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. So now that we have this, we're just gonna do uh, refresh, just to make sure, and then copy. Now that should be copied to our clipboard. Let's head back into Minecraft. Okay, now that we are back in Minecraft, we can again just hit T, then hold down Control and V to paste that command in. And then as you can see, we now have our regeneration spell. We have regeneration when held, the user's life is restored, just like we wanted before. I did forget to put a period in there, but whatever. Um, if that bothers you, I, I apologize. Um, but now we need to again uh, get a command block and type that in. So we're gonna do slash give, then your name, command block, there we go. Now I'm gonna place that down right there. Remember to do repeat and always active. And now as you can see, we now have the purple command block. Um, there's a, there actually is a second command in the description and this one is specifically for potion effects. So we're gonna go into the command block, copy and paste the second command that's in the, that's in the description. I'm gonna do control V. Now um, we have all of this and this is basically potion specific. So NBT selected item ID of Minecraft paper again, and then tag, remember what we want our tag to be. I believe it was regen regen colon 1b remember the colon 1b then run effect and then we need to make sure that we use our username my name is neato z my bad neato z then uh effect we're going to do colon uh, there it is reg oop i forgot to do that now we just do regeneration now um all that should work now if we hit done and then this is our regeneration now um here here, I'm actually gonna use the levitation one for this. Here, let me do... Actually, we're not gonna use the regenerate, that one. You can probably just do it from up here. Um, let's do slash game mode survival. There we go, now I'm in survival mode. Then if I jump up and try to take damage, wait, hold on, I'm actually gonna go... Now, as you can see, I've flown up into creative mode and I'm just gonna go into survival real quick. Then, as you can see, I take damage there, but if I hold the regeneration in, that fills my hearts up pretty quick because I'm holding the regeneration. As you can see, because my hearts are still bouncing and I have the effect there, it's kind of glitching out because of the repeating command block, um, I keep my regeneration. I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video and that you took something away from it. Uh, I do hope that you find a uh, practical use for this kind of thing because I honestly think that this is a really cool thing that you can implement into your Minecraft worlds and it's also super easy. Remember if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like down below and I'm actually thinking about doing a new series on my channel. Uh, basically what I want to do is um, it's called slash game commands and essentially I show you all how to make classic mini games on Minecraft. So basically, uh, server mini games. Basically, the first two that I have so far are Capture the Flag or are, ca are Capture the Flag and King of the Hill. So if you'd like to find out how to make Capture the Flag and King of the Hill in vanilla Minecraft in your own Minecraft worlds, please 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 let me know down in the comments below. I would really 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 appreciate if you could do that. 
Um, and yeah, that's about all for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one.